Hey, what's up, Kepi Rose? Welcome back to a new video on this channel. So, in today's video, guys, I am going to be talking about something pretty huge that a lot of you guys are going to probably be happy about. So, around a year or so ago, when the revamp was still relatively new, Greenville basically made it so whenever your game wasn't rendering and stuff, it would basically just do that gameplay pause thing that everyone disliked. And basically, the reason why this actually existed was to avoid stuff from not rendering in on your PC or whatever you actually play Greenville on. And this was a pretty smart idea, and on Honestly, at first it wasn't even that obnoxious and it didn't really happen all too often. However, as time went on and more and more updates were coming out and the game was becoming more and more intensive, even if you had good specs on your device, your game began doing it all the time. Like even in my case, I have a pretty good PC, like I can pretty much play any game I want. Meanwhile in Greenville, I was getting gameplay paused like every couple of seconds. However, recently I was actually talking to Hunter and turns out they actually totally removed this from the game. So some of you guys may have noticed recently that driving around the map and like roleplay servers or whatever, sometimes some parts on the map don't actually render in. So this doesn't really happen in private servers as much, but it's mainly in like public servers and whatever. And it's not a very common issue either. However, this is kind of the big trade-off, I guess you could say, with not having gameplay paused anymore. And basically what happens is sometimes stuff in the road and whatever isn't rendering in, so you can sometimes just like fall through the map. But I mean, it's not that bad, I guess, because you can kind of see like like when you know there's not anything rendered in in that certain location so it's not that easy to actually like just completely fall through the map unintentionally but personally i don't really mind this trade-off because at least now i don't get gameplay pause like every couple of seconds and considering that this is a relatively rare issue and it doesn't happen all too often, it's honestly not that bad in my opinion. But I honestly hope they don't re-add it because even though here and there we do still get some rendering issues now because of gameplay pause not existing anymore, it's nowhere near as bad in my opinion as having gameplay pause just pop up every like two seconds. But tell me what you guys think about it in the comments below. Personally, I think this is a really good change for Greenville and I'm sure a lot of you guys will agree with me, but I'm open to any opinions that you guys have in the comments below and what your guys' experiences with it have been so far. But yeah, Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. See you later and goodbye.